today I am super excited to be unboxing Night of the Living Dead, a zombie side game from Simon. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Get back here this instant. Oh. Thank you. Okay, mm. there it is. I, here's, I don't, need, I don't even know where to start. I'm a little excited. Here we go. Let me, let me, let me get this out. First of all, me and Britt are huge zombie side fans and I love zombie movies. Hence why I got into the zombie side games at all. And now you just took like the, the, the granddaddy of all zombie movies and you combined it with zombie side, it was an insta back for me. So, let's open her up. Oh, oh, yes. All right, now here's the thing. This, haven't received the Kickstarter yet. So this was a review copy that was sent, uh, sent to us. So we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna make this like a part one situation. And then we'll open up the anything you know the kickstarter stuff when the kickstarter stuff gets here all right let's let's get into this okay yeah i got my zombie slaying knife all ready to go okay i know i don't know am i drawing a blank george romero right that's I'm, i met him um i'm not getting him Confused with the, his comic book artist is a very similar name and I always get them confused. Uh, but anyways, I met him. I don't think he was too impressed with me, but uh, as far as like, I think I annoyed him. You know what, I don't wanna get to it. I don't wanna get to it. Anyways, here it is. I, I'm still a fan of zombie movies, regardless of the zombie creator himself, liked me or not. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, that, that, I think that was a five. That was a five on the scale of unbox and lettings, five out of five. I liked it. All right, let's, let's look inside. <laughs> okay, baby. I just, I love that there's this artwork based on all the characters and it looks like they got, I don't know if it is, but it looks like the same artist from the the Cthulhu games, and at least it's the same art style, and it looks awesome. And I think they brought all the actors to life in this artwork, and they did a, a great job. It looks it looks just like them. They did such an awesome job. Oh, they get you know, Simon, you guys get some talented people to work on your stuff, and I appreciate it. We all do. All right, you know you know why I'm extra excited today is because. It's been a while, it feels like it's been a while since we've done a minis unboxing, so it's gonna be good. Oh, this is big. Now this is based on the zombie side system, so at least getting into this should be fairly quick since we've played tons, tons of zombie side games. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be good stuff. So this is a, a heavy book, but if this is like the other zombie sides, there is a bunch of quest layouts in the back. And there they are. Yeah, here we go. I think. Where they are. Yep, yeah, that's them. Neat. Neat. Okay. So, this is our hefty rule book. And if you guys haven't played any of the Zombie Side games before, let me tell you that they are not complicated games to learn. And they are super fun. It's it's just a dice rolling zombie killing fest. But from what I remember on the Kickstarter, there was some there was some stuff. I don't remember some new stuff like they mimicked the movie. I think characters can actually turn into zombies and you're trapped in the house. So the zombies are coming to you, which is different, right? Because in the other zombie side games, you're going out and you're doing things, you're exploring and you're triggering zombies. Where here, I believe you're in the house and the zombies are trying to come in to the house. And you're trying to keep them out and do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Now that is a vague description of something I think I remember from the Kickstarter video. So let's just dive in. This came in today and Brittany just drove it in because it was delivered uh, t 
to her and she brought it to me like it, it wasn't delivered to our home or studio so she got her hands on it and uh she brought it home and i was just i just i just you know i just had to just had to open it anyways i'm rambling let's 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 do this because the sooner we get through this the sooner i'll be playing this Okay, so we got our character cards. Let's look at these up close. Oh, Tom, you've got a burning table leg. Judy, running around in your sandals and shotgun. That's not, that's not safe. Well, I see she got like a sniper action, with a, but she's carrying a shotgun. She just gets a really good shot with that shotgun. You see their different stats, which is cool. There's Helen. Oh man, don't mess with Helen. Look at that katana action and the knife. Harry, yeah, he's got some like a Maltov and uh, what is that? What is that in his hand? Can't make it that, it's like a, some sort of, I don't know, but he's gonna hurt somebody with that. We got Ben, the man himself. And then we got Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. She was there right at the beginning. Okay, so let's. here's the back of their cards. Now, I don't know how these backs come into play. Because it says Slippery, and there's their... I remember, I know some of those actions like Slippery. I recognize those names from the Zombie Side games. But there's Tom, and then there's... I think there's two different versions. I think there's like the... Uh, zombie side, Simon version, and then the movie version. I believe that's it. Yeah, because that looks like the souped up zombie side version, and then that's the more um, traditional movie version. I think. I believe there was something about that. Okay, so we got some character boards, and now we've seen things like this in uh, in other zombie side games. Oh, there's a few of these. Huh? Oh, I guess it's six, I would guess, because there's usually, yeah, there's six of those, because there's usually six players in zombie side games. So you can get a nice look at that. I love the embossing, that classic font from a classic movie. And they got these, and these look like they've, oh, these look, these have been refined, I think. Maybe not, they still stick a little bit, but... It keeps track fairly well. I found some of the older zombie sides, it could be a little chunkier and a little hard to uh, take note of what exactly they're pointing at. But Okay, that's, that's that. So yeah, if you're not familiar, these are like little character sheets you put, or character boards, you put characters in there, you track, you track their stats. Um, by putting here like different abilities they unlock, you mark them here, little pegs, and as they gain XP, you move this, and that's their health, and I don't remember what that is. Unless it's just a peg holder, I don't remember, recall what that is over there. And oh, and these are where their weapons go. One hand, two hand, they can hold things, and this is like their backpack, they can hold three additional weapons. All right, so let's put, put that away. We got some little, look like a bunch of table legs. Now we're gonna get up close to see that, and you know what's in here. The minis are in there. Oh, I love how they put the, the title treatment on just the brown. Okay, so let's move that aside. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's move the stuff. Let's move, sort this out a bit. Cards, we'll get to those a little later. Table legs and dice. Ooh, we're gonna test those. Oh, I like that color. It's interesting. You'll see it up close. It's like a an off-white and a dull purple. It's very, very zombie fleshy. And then we have our insert and then our, our level boards. We'll, we'll look at those right now. Actually, just to make sure there's nothing hidden under here. No more surprises. All right. so, now let's, let's look at, you know what? I want to see this the size of this box. I like when they put uh, art on the side of the box. Oh, and little walkers. They're gonna be 20, 30, maybe hundreds of those things. I guess these are lines. Sorry, just going through. Yeah, love the artwork on that. Okay, 
Okay, cool. Now that we've seen that, let's uh, let's get into this. Let's do this aside. Alrighty. Get it. Okay. Yeah, I want to play this this weekend because I can't play it tonight. I can't. Mind you, keep in mind, it's Thursday right now, so really close to the weekend. It's Thursday. It's about 5.30 p.m. And uh, I'm not working tomorrow, like my day job. So, but we just got so much other, so we got so many video contents, video things to put out. I don't know if I'll have time to play this weekend, but I so want to. I'm going to make a I'm going to make a good effort to try. Okay. Let's look at these. Okay, so if you've played any zombie side games, you know these are what the levels are made out of. Little squares for everybody to walk in, little rooms, it's probably going to be doors that we put there. I feel like I should break out some of the 3D doors I have from like Zombie Side Invader, although I don't think the styles will match very well. A little sci-fi zombie action, which or sci-fi mixed, mixed with classic. Maybe I should do that one day and just hodgepodge and ma do a mashup of like Night of the Living Dead and Zombie Side Invader and see what happens. Oh, you know what? Bet you, I don't remember the movies too well, but I bet you this room is like right out of the movie. It looks like it could be. I bet you it is. Okay, so we got some cornfields and more of the house. They did a really good job of capturing the look of the original, except in, in color. Hey, there's that burning table leg. We got some tacky, is that a kitchen? Yeah, some tacky kitchen floor tiles. Okay, alrighty. Ooh, sorry. Hey, that was that. These things we can look at up close. I think everything else we can look up at. We can look at up close. So let's do that right now. Okay. Now, if you guys and girls, fans of the show, um, you, you probably know that I, I'm a fan, right? I'm a fan of Simon. So I just can't tell you how I'm excited that they got. Like, I, I've probably said it like three times already, but I'm very excited that they're involved with the Night of the Living Dead. I can, just give them more, just give Simon all the licenses. I want to see them all in miniature form. I can't wait to see the minis. They're going to be wicked. Okay, so we got some cars here, some classics. I like the truck. They both carry six people? They do. Don't know what the difference is. So let's see what else we can do. We can probably just keep these in here. Actually, you know, this is. Okay, so good quality cardboards, They're thick. So we got, oh, we got some zombie versions of our characters, the little girl. Doesn't go well for her. Spoilers. The movie's really old. You should have seen it by now. You should go see it. You know what? And the fact that this is just in time for Halloween, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm guessing those are the zombie spawn points. There's a few of them. They're all the same. And they're multicolor. So based on my zombie side knowledge, those are where the zombies spawn. Uh, I'm guessing first player marker, but I don't know for sure. But that would be my guess. I don't even remember if there is a first player marker. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. Ooh, stairs. Oh, stairs to the cellar. That's the doors to the the door to the cellar. Don't go in the cellar. Okay, we got boarded up what looks like boarded up windows. Okay. Let's uh so the boarded up sections look pretty they all look the same on that side. Then we got that. I don't know what that is. Looks like a lock of some sort. On the other side, we've got some broken doors. And, oh, those are just doors. Those are doors from the top perspective. That's what that's what that was. That makes sense. Okay. So, those are all those things. Let's take a look at the cards. I'm going to look at these. Super quick. And I'll say it again, this is a 4K video. Well, I didn't say, technically I didn't say it yet, this video, but 
I've said it before. This is a 4K video, so if you want to see these cards up close and personal, we'll take some time with them. Just pause. I'm going to be going through them quick. This is a giant stack for my little hands, so let's break it up. And my dry skin is out of control today, so please forgive me. Oh. It's like, are these like paint overs from the, from the show? Okay, so those guys, it's not from the show, from the movie. So those are all the same. Those look all the same. So we got walkers, we got breakers. I'm thinking those are all the same. Oh, we got the fatties. Some zombie body shaming going on here. Uh, relatives. He still got his gloves on because he's cool like that. Is there any... Oh, the back of these all the same? Yeah, they are. I like the back of that. I just like that font treatment. It's just so... Just so classic. Just brings back all the memories. Okay. Oh, we got some actions here. One relative survivor shifts to Romero ID. No, I don't know what that means. I wonder if that's the, the t different versions. So it's the wa more walkers. Like I was saying that there, I think there's the movie versions and then there's the zombie side, a fide versions of them. Okay, breakers, we've seen that. Just don't know, I'm sure I'm stopping on the, when they show up again, just in case these numbers are different, you wanna see the values. And I think they always, all those say the same thing. Yes. Oh, that's different. Same back. Okay, we got some weapons. Claw hammer. I like how there's blood on them already. They've been in use. Crowbar. Uh, there's the, the table leg. What does it say? If, if you have the flammable fluid, you may discard this card to get a torch. Oh, I bet you I know what the torch is. Table leg on fire. And Which I'm... Assuming is in this pile here. There you go. What are the back of the? Those look different. There you go. What's the back of the weapons? Oh, shot off. Always shot off is always good. Can't go wrong with the shot off. When it comes to zombies, it's like zombie kryptonite. Right. Go through these fairly quick. Ooh, chainsaw. Machete looks nasty. I actually had a machete that looked like that when I was a kid. Don't know where I got it from. Probably shouldn't have had it. It's not something you should give your children. Not that anybody gave it to me, but you know, kids. They, kids. Just, just kids. That's all I can say. I oh, my finger's covering that. There is some flammable fluid. Flashlight. Oh, Karen. Poor baby. And some mason jars. Plenty of bullets. A zombie side classic. Plenty of shells also. A scope. Maz shotgun. Oh, Maz a badass. A few of those. We got a Maltov. We had a bunch of mason jars in the house a while ago. Threw them all out. I didn't think there were any use for them, and now could have been making Maltovs. Alright. So those are all the cards. I think. Did I go through those? Yes, those are all the cards. Let's just put these aside. Somewhere I'm not gonna knock them over and make a mess. And let's get to these and then the minis. Here we go, we got some stuff. Let's check out what I think are the table legs. 
And I guess these, I'm guessing these are what you, the pegs you use. Check them out. Just pull one out for you. Oops, let me see, I'm getting close there. Let's zoom in. There's your table leg. All right, so there's a bunch of them. So I'm assuming those are for like, there, they fit beautifully. Great. Hmm. Better than just a regular peg, I guess. I like a little touch of the table legs. Let's get in there. Yeah, what do we got here? Uh, bases, you've seen, you've seen these before. Just, I'm assuming by the sound, they are plastic bases, not rubber. So there's one for all the colors. All right, those two for all the colors. And then we got our dice. Well, okay, you got your standard dice, but they got a really cool color to them. I'm digging this color. They got the this zombie pale skin with the, it even looks like there's bruising around it. With um, the pale purple. So let's can test, do they work? Do they work? These are dead, dead dice. They work. They work. They work. Eureka. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The zombies. Right. Oh, baby. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see where we're gonna start. First, let's get these guys. Are these guys taped together? Yeah. There you go. They're free. Now there's a lot of zombies here, but a lot of them are repeats, so we're just gonna see the unique ones. Uh, let's start with the zombies. So we got. Are these our breakers? Well, they look like our our walkers. Oh yeah, there's no runners, like in traditional zombie side. There's breakers and walkers. So I'm guessing breakers break things. This guy's got some bullet holes in him. It's problematic. Uh, the fact that he's still moving with bullet holes in him. Just sorting his out, these kind of fell apart a bit. Oh, her gown is open a bit. It's a cool little detail. You can zoom right in there. So we can see them all nice and close. All right. Uh, we got, what else we got here? We have this guy. He looks like he's escaped from somewhere. Uh, and his gown is open in the back. Got her little shot off shotgun. And her sandals. Um let's see what else we got here. Oh, he's different. That's our walker. I think that was our breaker, I'm pretty sure. I like the little details of like her shirt's open. It's a few buttons undone. Okay, so those are all the zombies in that box. Oh, nope. Oh. Karen, no. Now it's red on red. I got a red table. Let me put something in the background here. To, maybe this will help her stand out a bit more. Is she eating something? It looks like she's got some flesh. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, she's eating something. Sorry for the wobbly camera. I touched it. My bad. I won't do that again. Let 
This, <laughs> it's not letting me focus with that thing in the background. We got some better detail on this guy. He's also bigger, so that'll make it easier. Oh, that's the, um, I think it's the guy with the leather gloves. I forgot what his name was. Okay, so now, what, remember I showed you her. And I believe there's two different versions of her. See, the shot off version, version and version with scissors. I, think, I like the gray versions better, I like the way they, the contrast of the gray. You can see she got glasses. Does she have glasses in this one? No. Pretty sure it's the same person. Same person, I think. I think it is. It might not be. Let's keep going. And there's, yeah, I think this would be like the zombie side version. Cause she got a katana. I don't recall her having a katana in the original. And then we have the classic. Where she got like a trowel and her purse. She's hanging onto that purse. Cause when there's a zombie apocalypse, you gotta worry about muggers, mugging zombies. Let's just put these guys back. I'm making a mess here. So here, yeah, we got badass Bernie table leg. Also known as Tom. And then there's basic Tom. Don't, okay, this version looks a lot cooler. He looks intense here. There he looks like he's just aggressively making peanut butter sandwiches. Or about to. Okay. Okay, who we got here? Oh, he's about to throw a Maltov. He's got his crowbar. And the classic, I like, I like that stance. I like the stance, the classic version. He's got that, I don't give a shit stance. Going like, I'm tired, I'm too old. I'm too old for this crap. Okay. And I'm liking this one. I'm liking this version of, uh, oh, what was her name? Sarah, Saren, Sharon, what was her name? It's here, Barbara. Close, Barbara. <laughs> it's a badass version of Barbara. The regular version, actually I like the regular version better because I like the coat. She's got a knife. I like the coat, I, I like both Barbaras actually. And there's Ben, am I right? Ben, there you go, I remember correctly that time. Oh, a little piece of, is that, did he get shot in the leg? That's just a little piece of plastic missing. I'm guessing that's just where he got pulled out of the mold. Whoa, no. <laughs> Dropped him. And then, I, I prefer I prefer this version. You know, I think in most cases, I prefer the, uh, the gray versions. All right, I think oh, we, got, we got a few more zombies here. Now we're good to go. Let's see what we have here. As far as zombies, we got our these are fatties. Oh, he's got like uh, an appendix scar, or he was a little high for his appendix. Got some either some back hair or scratches happening in this region right here, and that. Looks uncomfortable. All right, who else we got? We got one, another fatty. He's got his arms up as well, but this guy forgot his pants. He kind of looks like he's a, it's late night at a house party. 
And we got, oh, table legs are popular. They are a popular weapon of choice. A little detail of her raising her heel out of her slipper. Oh, here's the breakers. They actually got bricks to break, so the other guy might just be a walker. You know what? When I read the rule books, I'll know. The rule book. Singular. He's upset. This guy's upset too, but in a different way. He's like very sad. Very sad zombie. Or he's got a headache. I felt like this. Oh, we've seen her. Okay, who else? Anybody new? I think that's it. I think that is all of them. You have seen them all. We we have seen them all. Let me turn that off. One, before I do that, I've done this before by accident. No, we're good to go. Turn that off. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching that unboxing as much as I enjoyed opening that box. I am very excited to play this. I am going to try my damnedest to play that this weekend. And just in time for Halloween. This might be my Halloween game of the year. Cannot wait. See you guys next week. Go watch some zombie movies. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.